You run marathons and you walk. I run a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> like, can you call me a marathoner now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Marathon that's singular. Must have your first. <laughs> Finish my How long are you doing? Four hours and 25 minutes. Tell yeah. me, you've told me before, but tell me again about your, your marathon experience. Because I would like to, but I highly doubt I'll ever do a marathon. So, I had a theory and I was a subject of one and I thought I would just get really strong in the gym. I would do a lot of interval training, so I was really fit, like cardiovascular wise. And yeah, yeah. Really wise. And then I'd just do enough running to keep the tendons and things happy, just so that the shock of the marathon wasn't going to get my keep your, Keep your volume load medium. Yeah. So, yeah. And so, day of the marathon came, I was feeling great, like really fit. You were fit and you were strong. So, so, yeah. Like, so, I was, the, the idea with the strength training was every step I was using less energy just because all my muscles were that much stronger. I did a lot of single leg work and things like that. And you were squatting crazy weights. Yeah. How much? 140. Could have gone, could have gone heavy, but I was, I was, yeah. An easy one forty, like easy one forty, yeah. yeah. Um, single leg squatting, weight first, twenty kilo weight first with like five kilos in each hand, so three kilos all up. Strong. Yeah, and I was yeah, feeling great. Anyway, day of the marathon came. I was running, I was fine, like ten k's. I was like, just, like seeing my parents and jumping and waving. I was feeling good. Twenty k's, fine. <laughs> Thirty k's, like I'm like, wow, like this is easy. Like I was, I was on track for like a sub four finish, just comfortably. Anyway, thirty five comes around and I just crashed. Like everything started like cramping up, tightening up. I was like, and then something feels wrong, and so you start running differently, and then it's just it feed forwards, and, you, and your form gets worse and worse and worse. Um, anyway, I finished. But those last couple of k's were just so slow. I just didn't have the miles under my legs to, I was gonna say, to you, endure through it. Do you think it was the miles, or do you think you just hit the wall like all marathon runners do? Yeah, like it could have been. I was just, I was cramping. The tendons were grumpy. So um, do, do you like? Because most most marathons again I haven't run one, so I shouldn't generalize. But you hit the wall somewhere between thirty and thirty-eight k's. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So I do you could, think could you could a nutrition thing. Do you think you could have spared that by doing more k's, or do you think that's just a first-time marathoner? You have to go through that. It's hard. Yeah, it's you hard have, because I'm a yeah, like end of one, mm -hmm. and it's, it was my first marathon, but I hadn't really messed around. Like, I hadn't experimented with the nutrition side of things and hitting the wall. Like yeah. I'd never run that far that I'd experienced it before. Yeah. And so when I did experience this, it was really new. I'm like, oh, yeah. So maybe you needed on? to do it just a couple of times. Yeah. Get to that 30k mark, maybe two or three times in the lead up. Yeah. In order just to go like, oh, there's the wall. That's what that is. Yeah. Yeah. And I was a mess for a couple of weeks after, but. <laughs> so bad. Yeah. Popped the roof out of place. Yeah. <laughs> Too much. Like, just wasn't moving. It was yeah. like, I'll just stay here. And then you missed a shift as well, didn't you? Yeah. I missed like three. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tell me more about the theory though, because. I've read articles before about people who like do CrossFit and, and like do that high intensity interval circuit training type stuff yeah. in preparation for a marathon. What's the theory behind doing the strength work from a like strength reserve point of view? Like, how does that work? Yeah, so the stronger you are, uh, well, basically running is just single leg bounding. Yeah, yeah it's a series of single leg jumps. Yeah. yeah, and so the stronger you are, every single bound is taking less energy or less yeah, effort to perform. Yeah. yeah. And so it's like, I found with my training here, uphill running was just easy. Like, I mean, I run around the hills and things like that, but when I started really getting into the training seriously and kept doing that hill running, I just was, yeah, was flying along. So the leg strength gives you like a buffer. Yeah. That, so instead of running, you know, do, hitting your 4K, four minute kilometers, instead of running at 80%, you're working at 70%. Yep. So therefore and you're I saving your energy, you're more efficient. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I found that was awesome for the marathon, just because you you weren't pushing the boundary the whole time. You could just sit back and still keep pace. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Nervous system stays a little fresher throughout the race. Yeah. Time. Maybe though you need something in the middle. So maybe you went too much the strength in. So I'm, I'm going to run it again this year. You are. Yeah. I'll cool. do it smarter. Um, and I'll just I'm just going to get more K's under my belt early on, and then taper off and do a similar thing to what I did last year. Okay. I'm just going to. When's the race? Get the case up. Uh, end of the year. I can't remember. October. October remember. sounds right. Yeah. Um, so it's October. Uh, it's April. Yeah. Map us through your plan. So I'm slowly working up and getting strong again now. Okay. So I'm just going to gradually build up. I don't want to. I don't want to jump too much. How often do you lift? Twice a week. Twice, twice a week. Once to twice. Once yeah. to twice. Yeah. And I'm um, doing my intervals as well. So I'm keeping that fitness up. Bike stuff, sprint stuff. Yeah, so Tabata. So, yeah, on the bike. Yeah, so yeah. 20 seconds, just going flat out, as hard as I can, 10 seconds rest. Yeah, Tabata's insane. <laughs> it's, 
It's short and, short and sweet. We should tell Trez about Tabata. He would like Tabata. <laughs> he love it. <laughs> Challenge him some more. Um, and I'm going to start getting back into the running now. I'm just going to do some short, intense work. Just slowly get the tendons happy again. And then I'm going to build that, build that, build that until I'm running 30Ks. Maybe 35, just a couple of times. Yeah. Just touch that. When are you going to... When, so it's April. Just take back down. April, how, how, many, how often are you running at the moment? I'm only running once, but once I'm going to pick that up to two, maybe three. It just depends how the body feels. I yeah, just, read want, it each week? Yeah, I want to listen to the body. And how much, like, to get to 35, when do you want to do the 35? I'd like to be doing 35 by two months out, yeah. so and then months, cut back. September. August. Yeah. And then, so you hit that, and feel that, experience that, you know, that yeah. wall again. And may, maybe even just hit that, just, yeah, just a couple times. Just, just a long run, long slow run on a Sunday, not intense at all. Just have that, like be running for that amount of time. Because yeah. I've never, I've never had before, the marathon, I've never run for four and a half hours straight. Yeah. So right. it's just, it was just complete, like, yeah, I didn't know what I was, what I was going to find. Yeah, yeah. I think. And so then taper off through September, October and go back to your interval stuff. Yeah, go back to my intervals and just, then just keep the legs moving with the running. Just, yeah. just don't drop that off at all. Yeah. So just like sort of back to the um, 10k sort of stuff. I feel it's mental as well, yep. like having done it, because I did the Oxfam challenge. Twice. Twice. The first time was just like we weren't, you weren't also mentally prepared and we didn't know what to experience. And then the second time, our changing plan didn't really like change, but we just did it so much quicker and we like, we knew what to expect and what it was going to be like. And it's it 100 k's Oxfam, isn't it? 100k's in 40 hours. We did it in 28 the first time and 21 the second time. Um, and that, that, that gap between the 28 and the 21, that wasn't due to us amping up our training and because everyone was really busy, we yeah. couldn't train together that often. It was due to the fact that we were just really prepared going in. We knew what was going to happen. You knew, what the pace, you knew what pace yeah. to set, you knew what the fatigue yeah. would feel like, you knew how to eat, you knew how to look after your blisters and stuff yeah, like that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And I feel that's going to be huge going into the next marathon as well. Prepare. <laughs>